Each group will also have a drawer, so you'll notice... 17 students from Garrett County High School in a Principles of Biomedical Science class and an AP Environmental Science class visited this lab in UK's College of Agriculture, Food and Environment Plant Science Building. The students are involved in a research project with UK where the students are doing insect identification of field plots. That's what brought the students to this lab. They're using our school, they're using our farm. It's kind of a win-win situation. It's a win for UK. You get the opportunity to use our land for free, right? <laughs> and you also get um, students that are able to do the work and, and are willing to do the work, and that's, that's also free. So <laughs> it's been very exciting for everyone. Using a mortar and pestle, the students ground blades of tall fescue into a fine powder to extract the DNA after using liquid nitrogen. Gonna wait till it stops. The opportunity to be in a college science lab gave the students a chance to use tools they would never get to experience in their high school. So an opportunity like this may allow some students on the fence with where they want to go with their lives to have a new appreciation for what science is really about and how science is conducted. Once you ground it to a fine powder, Lou Hirsch is a lecturer in the College of Agriculture, Food and Environment and provides educational outreach for the plant pathology department. Okay. You're going to want to have one hand in the mortar, and then you're going to want to apply some downward force. His passion for teaching young minds like these high school students is infectious. I think it's really important that we get the word out about what science really looks like uh, for these young students uh, as they come into college or even before they enroll. So we're able to you know, not lose some who slip through the cracks just because they haven't heard of us or what we do. Put that chunk of The students visiting this lab are college bound and plan to major in some sort of science related field. Seniors Mary Catherine Oberman and Rebecca Campbell worked together in the lab on the project and both said they could see themselves doing this in college and their careers. Considering majoring in the hard sciences or something related to that, I mean, I'm going to be spending a lot of time in an environment such as this, so it's really great to have this experience and start to get comfortable, as I will be very comfortable throughout my years of undergrad. Mm -hmm. I, I'm interested in the health field aspect. I'm not really much of a people person, so I think the lab really fits me well. Lab coat, okay. The students hope the experience they are getting will pay off when they go to college. From the University of Kentucky College of Agriculture, Food and Environment, I'm Jeff Franklin reporting. Only one of them is really